Hey, what up guys? It's Michael Herman here from Performance Revolution. If you're watching this video, it's likely that you're one of the many people out there that suffer from lower back pain or that you've struggled to engage your core both inside and outside of the gym. You've probably also been advised by a therapist at some stage that you lack neutral spine posture and that you need to strengthen your transverse abdominis. If any of these things true for you, then stick around. I've got an awesome exercise you can start doing today that will help with all of that. It's called the dead bug. The dead bug exercise gets its name from its starting position, where you're lying on your back with legs and arms towards the ceiling, resembling the position of the last dead cockroach corpse you found lying around your home. When it comes to core training, a lot of people are all too familiar training their abdominal and oblique muscles with exercise such as crunches, twists, side bends, and planks. However, many seem unfamiliar or ignorant when it comes to exercises like the dead bug and training their transverse abdominus muscle. The transverse abdominus, or TA for short, is a muscle that lies deep below your abs and obliques. It plays a crucial role in the stability of the pelvis, spine and ribs, which in turn enables efficient functioning of the other core muscles. The dead bug is a great exercise for engaging and strengthening your TA. When performed correctly, it will help improve your posture, protect your lower back from injury and greatly improve the strength and function of your core. Let's now have a look at how to perform the dead bug and also look at some progressions and regressions to get you started no matter what level of strength you're at. To perform the dead bug exercise properly, start by assuming the correct starting position as follows. 1. Lay on your back where your spine, arms and legs are fully extended on the ground. 2. Bring both of your legs up until your knees are bent at a 90 degree angle and your thighs are vertical angle to the ground. 3. Bring both of your arms up while being fully extended until they're pointed to the ceiling and your shoulders are just off the floor. If you've performed these steps correctly, your abdomen should be slightly contracted and your lower back should be pressing flat against the floor. It's imperative that you maintain this position with your lower back pressed against the floor throughout the whole exercise. Action. 1. From the starting position, keep one leg fixed at a 90 degree angle and slowly lower the opposite leg until it's fully extended and just off the floor. As you're lowering and extending your leg, simultaneously lower your opposite arm behind your head until it is also fully extended and just off the floor. When performing this lowering movement of the opposing arm and leg, you should be exhaling. Once the opposing arm and leg have reached full extension, begin to inhale as you then reverse the movement and bring the limbs back to the starting position. Repeat the movement again using the same arm and leg for as many reps as possible, whilst maintaining correct form, then switch to the opposing arm and leg for the next set. Alternatively, you can alternate between different diagonal patterns of the arms and legs each repetition. This does, however, require more coordination and muscular control. Again. To ensure this exercise works and engages your abdominal muscles, it is crucial to keep your abs contracted and your lower back pressed flat against the floor without arching it at any stage of the movement. Here's a dead bug performed incorrectly. Notice how the lower back is arching off the floor and the stomach is doming. If you're more of a beginner at this exercise and you cannot maintain proper form with a full dead bug as described previously, it's recommended that you slightly adjust your starting position to accommodate your ability level. This will help build up your strength to a proper dead bug with easier variations of the exercise. If you're more advanced and can perform a full dead bug quite well for 15 reps or more, it would be helpful to start adding greater difficulty to the exercise to make your abdominals increasingly stronger. Here are some regressions and progressions of the dead bug based on your ability level. 1. Assume the full dead bug position as previously described. 2. Now keep one of your knees at a 90 degree angle and then rest your opposing bent leg and foot on the floor in somewhat of a sit up position. This is your new starting position. 3. Work the hanging knee and opposite arm as normal for the desired number of repetitions while the other leg and arm remain fixed. Switch sides, then repeat.
To progress further from the one leg down variation previously described, you can place your arms on your chest and keep them fixed throughout the entire movement to allow you to just focus on moving one leg in and out. You will still need to ensure your shoulders remain off the floor and the abdominals are contracted throughout the entire exercise when performing this variation. One, assume the full dead bug position as previously described. Two, now when performing your full dead bug, add a two to three second pause at the bottom position where the opposing arm and leg are fully extended. Three, work the opposing limbs and alternate sides for the desired number of repetitions. One, assume the full dead bug position as previously described. Two, now, instead of alternating opposite arm and leg as usual, try extending both arms back while alternating your legs each repetition. You can also apply external loading as per the video to progress this variation even further. Simply hold a dumbbell or medicine ball in your hands whilst performing the exercise. You can also use ankle weights, resistance bands or even cable weights that you pull from the arms and or legs to apply loading. If you apply recommendations in this video, you should be able to develop your dead bug no matter what level of investment you're at. You'll need to practice your dead bugs two to three times per week to ensure progress, and as a good starting point, I suggest around three sets of 10 to 15 reps each limb twice per week. Yes, it's important to progress with your dead bugs, but don't try to increase your training volume or advance too quickly through the exercise progressions without maintaining proper form. With that said, now it's time to get into it and integrate some dead bug variations into your training today. You'll see the difference they make for yourself in not only your core training, but also other exercises in your program, your general posture, and mitigating lower back pain. Thanks for watching, and we hope you learned a lot from this video. For more useful information and exercise videos, please subscribe to the Performance Revolution channel.